Journalists have been absolutely vital to the growth of the animal protection movement because the more people learn about what happens every day for millions of animals on factory farms and laboratories and slaughterhouses, people are naturally outraged by it and want to become involved. Ag-gag laws are a series of laws proposed by the agriculture industry to keep consumers in the dark about what happens every single day on factory farms and slaughterhouses. The first prosecution under an ag-gag law was a young woman named Amy Meyer. And Amy didn't sneak into a barn or do anything illegal. She saw a sick cow being pushed by a bulldozer outside of a slaughterhouse, and I think she did what any of us would. She filmed it. And because of that, filming from the public street, she was prosecuted. And when people found out about what was taking place, there was so much public outrage that her charges were dismissed. I think most people would be shocked to learn that the FBI and Homeland Security are spending terrorism resources investigating nonviolent protesters involved in animal rights and environmental campaigns. And although some people have broken the law in the name of those causes, the other activists being investigated are things like civil disobedience, photographing factory farms, and trying to make a meaningful change for millions of animals in the natural world. So the reason that ag-gag laws are being challenged as unconstitutional is because they single out one group of people for harsher penalties based on what they believe. So if someone produces a film about the agriculture industry that is happy little cows and happy little chickens, they're not going to be prosecuted under ag-gag. But if someone is critical, and speaks truth to power and tries to expose what the industry wants hidden, they would be singled out. And that at their core is unconstitutional. Undercover investigators have done a heroic job of exposing what happens every single day behind closed doors. But part of the discussion that I think has been absent has been the environmental consequences of factory farming. Animal advocates are concerned about animal cruelty and workers' rights, environmental pollution, and environmental advocates are concerned about all of those same things. And I think this is an industry that is so big and so powerful that requires all of these movements united to challenge their power. I'm involved in these lawsuits challenging ag-gag laws as unconstitutional because they're a direct threat to people like me as a journalist. Whether or not I actually step on a farm and photograph these facilities myself, ag-gag laws are criminalizing my sources. They're making people that I speak with every day afraid to do their work. And on top of that, they're singling out critical journalism, meaningful journalism, as being prosecuted. And that is, at its core, unconstitutional and an open assault on the First Amendment.